Kim here with Art Classes for Kids, and welcome to our art lesson. Today I'm joined with Lily, and this is our third week of doing daily art lessons since school's been out, and since most of you have been at home. And uh, this week is uh, officially spring break week, and we are doing a bunch of springtime projects and some Easter things too. So today's project is a watercolor bunny. So we're gonna give you a few options, we're gonna take you through it, and you probably wanna know what the supplies are. So, Lily, tell them about our supplies. So the supplies that you'll need are some watercolor paper. It can be a square or a rectangle. Some basking tape. This is optional, you do not have to have it. We only use it to leave a nice clean finish on the outside of our artwork. So you don't have to put any tape around your artwork if you don't want to. But if you have it, give it a try. Yes, it's good. Um, you'll also need some paper towels, a pencil, and a regular sized Sharpie, a water jar, or a jar of water, and then um, a, a medium sized paintbrush and a small sized paintbrush. And you'll also need a watercolor palette. We we have this many water piece, uh, watercolors in our palette, but you don't have to have this many. We just use yeah, you we can just use try to set. use a variety of And we colors. also offer this on our website for sale. This is 36 colors. And on our website, we have a lot of, well, not a lot of supplies. We narrowed down all the basic supplies that we use in a lot of our videos. It, almost all of our art videos. Yeah. So we've got like watercolors, chalk pastels, oil pastels, pencils, this tape. Watercolor. Everything. So anything you would need for our projects, you can pretty much find on our website. And if you order from our website, you are actually uh, clicking our links that are connected to Amazon.com. And when you buy them through us, um, it helps support our video endeavors. It helps us to make more videos and bring them to you for free. So if you want to buy something, rather than going directly to Amazon, check first on our website, see if we've got it, help us out. You can also help us by donating to our Kofi account, <coughs> which is uh, got a link in our descriptions. And that's just if you want to give us a little tip to tell us that you really enjoyed this and you want us to keep making videos and giving them to you guys for free. So, but also, oh. uh, once you're done with your artwork, if you can take a photo and email it to us at kimandartclassesforkids.com or post a photo on Instagram and tag it with Art Classes for Kids. And hopefully we'll see your photo and respond. Yeah, and you know what? We've gotten a lot of photos of artwork and man, it is so fun. They're Fantastic. They're really awesome. So many of the projects in the last two weeks, people have shown us where they've hung it up in their house, or they're holding it, or they're showing us making it, all kinds of cool things. So, I think we've told you all that crazy stuff, and next, we're gonna get into the project. So, if you've gotten all your supplies, then hopefully you're ready to go. If you happen to have some tape, then um, I'm gonna show you how to put it on right now, if you happen to have some tape. If you do, you just pull a piece, and you line up the edge of the tape with the edge of your paper, you rub it down, and then you pick up the corner of this and you just whip it to rip it, I say. And then you get a really clean cut and you don't have it going yes. around you the paper. You don't want it to hang off. Uh, yeah, you, you don't, don't want you to want don't want it do like this and You then don't do want that. to wrap it around because it's really hard to get off. Later it's hard when another piece of tape's on top of it. Sometimes it rips accidentally, all kinds of crazy stuff. So just rip it right at the edge. Okay, so we've almost got this one ready. And uh, I'm gonna take you step by step on how to draw the bunny. But I'm gonna do it, I'm going to do it on this board so that I can hold it up while you're doing it. Lily's gonna do hers tabletop style and I'm gonna do mine right here. I'm gonna draw really dark so that it shows up on the camera. But for you at home, I want you to draw really light so that only you can see it. Because in the end, once the entire painting's done and it's dry for a while, you can go back and you can erase those pencil lines. And then it looks like you never drew it first. It looks really clean. Okay, so if you are you ready? So everybody grab your pencils, let's do it. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is go right to the middle of the paper and you're gonna make a rainbow. Just like that. See the line? 
right in the middle of your paper, you're gonna make a rainbow curve with your pencil. This is going to be the top of the bunny's head. So it looks like that. Okay, make sure you don't do it too high because you need some room for your ears. If you want really long ears, you're gonna have to do the head lower than the middle. Okay, now remember, you can always erase and adjust, but the lighter you draw, the easier it is to erase. Okay, now we're gonna draw even lighter. Now you're gonna make two guidelines. You can use your eraser for a guideline. That's that little hack I show you guys all the time, where you rub the eraser crumbs. I make a circle here. See, those, those are eraser crumbs. That's when I rub my, my end of my pencil so hard that it leaves that mark, and see if I do that, I don't have any mark at all compared to trying to erase a pencil mark. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make one circle here, and then I'm gonna make one right next to it, where the two circles touch should be right below the middle of the rainbow. So that looks a little like that. Now, if I like the size of those, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my pencil, and I'm going to really lightly draw on top of those two circles, and once I got it, I erase the eraser marks, just like that. And there you have it, a rainbow with two circles under it. Do they have to touch? They should touch, oh. yeah. So what you can do is, you could go straight down from your rainbow and make a guideline and then make a circle on each side of that guideline too. You can have your two circles cross and where they cross you know it's gonna be the middle. Yeah, you got it, Lily. Oh, that was good! Okay, now try. That's perfect, okay. So once you get your two circles, and remember, you can pause at any time. Once you get the two circles, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put two lines up, right here, in between, right, two lines up with the, probably one, probably one finger, across like this, like that, right in the center. And then you're gonna put a rainbow curve on this. Like that, just like that. So you're going, first you made the two lines up and then you connected them with a the small rainbow curve, just like that. And now right here where it makes like a little V shape where the two circles meet, you're gonna go like this and do two little dash lines. Those are gonna be the nostrils. Two little dash lines, and then you can erase any lines around them. So you got these two little dash lines. Okay, now with the where this this is like a tall, thin rainbow shape. To each side, you're going to make like on the left, you're going to make the shape of a C, and on the right, you're going to make a backwards C, or it looks like a smaller circle inside of each circle. And then I'm going to make sure they're even. So I'm going to adjust mine. Once I adjust mine, let me see. I'm gonna draw it a little darker for you guys at home to see. This is the white furry part. You can make it flatter or rounder, it's up to you. So you can go flat like that, or you can puff it out, but whatever you decide to do, make it symmetrical. Make it match on both sides. Or at least try to match it on both sides. Yeah, just do your best. <laughs> so far we have these parts, okay? You got it. You can make that really round. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the eyes. So the eyes, you're gonna have two ovals. An oval here and an oval here. Don't go higher than that rainbow curve in the middle, that narrow rainbow. Make sure the eyes are lower than this. Yeah, you don't want your eyes too big. Okay, now, close towards the rainbow curve, you're gonna go there and there. That's gonna be part of the eye. Both of those shapes are towards the nose, like are towards the center. And you want that really small. And then you go to the opposite side. Okay, now you're gonna go to the opposite side. If this one is low and to the left, this one's high and to the right. If this one's low and to the right, this is high and to the left. Like that. And that's 
that's gonna be small. I'm gonna actually make mine smaller because I can adjust it. So that's the eyes. You see the eyes? Now we're gonna put one or two highlights. I'm gonna put two highlights in mine. I'm gonna, at the top, I'm gonna make an oval and an oval in the same spot on each eye. And then I'm gonna split that oval in half. Put a little line through it. I'm just gonna do one highlight. Okay, you can, the easiest thing to do is one oval towards the top of each part of the eye. But now that isn't symmetrical either. That is gonna be asymmetrical. If it's on the left, on the left side, then it's also on the left on the right side. And that's because the light, it's a reflection of the light. The light is all here on one side, and so it gets light on that same exact side on both eyes. Okay, you're looking good. Now we're gonna do the ears. So closer together than these two lines that were on, you know, above the nose, Closer than those, you're gonna make two lines here. Two small lines, so they look like this. Let's get all this in. Okay, so the, now you're gonna go one finger space apart and make another line. So hold your finger there and put a line on the outside of that first line and on the outside of the second line. Just like that, and then we're gonna make our ears. Okay, now somewhere up here, you're gonna make two tiny rainbows. Like, I'm gonna make a little rainbow here, and a little rainbow. Now we're gonna aim the lines on the side of the ear to the lines on the side of those tiny rainbows and connect, but we're not gonna go straight. So this is what we're not gonna do. I'm gonna show you with you eraser. You're not gonna go straight like this. You're gonna go out before you come into that point like that. And that is so that you have a puffy ear. So you're gonna go out and into that little rainbow and out and into that little rainbow. Okay, so this I'm gonna go out and in and over here I'm gonna go out and in. So now I've got my rabbit ears. Now we aren't gonna see the rabbit's whole body. We're just gonna see like the Like its cheek. neck and its shoulders. Yeah. So all you're gonna do is go over to the side, kind of like the cheek of the rabbit, and you're gonna go and make a curve downhill, and another curve downhill, just like that. And I think that's pretty much all the parts you're gonna need, but except right in here, if you want, you can make a rainbow curve at the bottom of that, and later that's gonna be the mouth. Get it? Now these two things need to touch because this is going up to the nose. Yeah, th these two lines need to touch. Yeah, there you go. All right. So now we are ready. Oh, wait, wait, we have one more thing to do before the watercolors. See all these little whiskers? See how they look like they're white? Well, th we aren't gonna be painting white because white doesn't show up so good in watercolors. It's really challenging. But what we do is we leave a space where our pencil mark is for our whiskers, and later we erase that, that guideline, and then it looks like we have white whiskers. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start in the center, and you're gonna go out and give me like, oh, I don't know, five to eight different whiskers. And then I'm gonna go over here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do I have eight here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna give this one one more. So those are all my whiskers. Whiskers. How many on each side? Between five and eight. But just make sure, if you only do five, then you only do five on the other side. Okay, and make sure they burst out. There you go. Nice. Make them nice and long. Okay, so now we're going to start painting. The first thing we're gonna paint is the color of the rabbit. So this one is brown rabbit. That one is a peach colored rabbit. You can have any color you want. I think I'm gonna do a blue rabbit. I'm gonna do this rabbit. 
You're gonna do that? Okay, I'm gonna do a blue one just so that I can show you guys another color, okay? Who's, who's ready? You guys ready? Now remember, you can pause it at any time if we're moving too fast. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my medium-sized brush. I don't need this many brushes. Okay, and I'm going to get blue, but this blue is probably gonna to be too bright. I'm just going to do my ears first. If it's too bright, I'll just take my water and I'll push the water. Oh, with what brush, medium? The medium brush. So I want you to do your ears first. Keep it really light. You want it to look transparent. Ooh, so you want to add a lot of water. If you overdo it. The wetter it, the better. Yes. That's what we so I have to lay mine down a little bit because I don't want it to drip everywhere. Now if it starts to drip, you can always, you know, just blot it with your paper towel. Alrighty. I'm gonna add a little more blue to this one. Oh, too much. All right, so I've got my blue bunny ears. Okay, keeping it really wet. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna do the entire face, but I want you to just do around the eyes first. I'll tell you why. Okay, first of all, you don't want it to get too dark. So I just use a little water and I have just a tippy tip of that blue. Oh, so you wanna use your small brush now? now oh, we're switching to the small brush now. Thank you, Lily, for <coughs> noticing that without me remind, remembering to tell everybody at home. So you're gonna go through here and you're just gonna fill it in with your tiny brush. But don't do the cheeks yet. So you're just taking your time, making it good. Okay, here we go. Remember, if it gets too dark, you just put a dot of it and you just fill it in with water. So I can rub it, if I, I, I had a really dark spot, then I just rubbed it out. We'll move that out of you. And if you have a really, really wet spot, you can blot it with your paper towel. Yep. Okay, you're gonna be using that same color, but this is really tricky. So pay attention. You're gonna get some water. Get my water over here. You're gonna get some water and you're gonna get your color and you're just gonna have a little bit of it. And you're gonna go up, whoops. You're gonna go right up to your whiskers, but you're gonna leave a little white space. Then you'll go to the next whisker. And you're gonna keep doing this with your um, So what I'm doing brush. is, yeah, I'm touching the pencil line, but I'm leaving a little white above it like that. See, I got white and then this, oops, that one I overdid it. So let me come back. Remember, if you block quick enough or rub it off quick enough, you can make it. Then I'm going to the next spot. And then I keep doing each spot, but I leave a little white space between it because later I'm going to erase all the pencil marks and they'll have a little white space. Ooh, if your color starts getting too dark, you can always take some water and kind of wash out some of the brightness. Good. It's kind of hard to get in between each part. Oh shoot. Too much blue, so I'm gonna have to wash it out and blot it.
All right, we'll do the other side. This is an advanced thing to do. So if you don't want to do this, that's okay. You can just make it transparent and make the whiskers go through the color. Sometimes it's just too bright. Your, it takes your time on this too. Yeah, it takes take, your time. This takes a while. <clears throat> Okay. What I'm doing is just I'm putting the lines through. Oh, yours is going great. And though. then that's what I'm just doing. I'm just doing the Okay, line. yours is going Nothing great. Else. We'll have to hold yours up. I think I'm going to have to make my blue darker so you guys can see it better. So I've got this. Whoops. Too dark. Okay, mine is a little bit bright, but I'm getting them all wet and then I'm gonna blot it. There we go. And then I'm gonna do the other side with a little more blue on it so it shows up from far away. You did more whiskers, so it takes longer. Yeah, just a little bit. If you drew so many and then once you start painting them, you go, wow, this is taking a while, then just, you can just narrow it down to five if you want. Okay, let me give that a blot. This was a little bright. Okay. So now we've got this, and now we just need the body. So keep the body really light. Uh, on the body, I'm using this medium-sized brush. And I'm just going like that. I put a lot of blue, I don't want it that bright. So I'm just gonna go like this, add water to it. So I've or, got my blue bunny. Yeah. Or if you saw any, other, any of our other watercolor videos, what we also do is you can put water on just plain water on your just plain water on your uh, on your surface, and then you could just paint over it with the regular watercolor paint, and it will just turn out the same. It'll just blend right in. Okay, so we've got that going. We're gonna let that dry for a bit because we're gonna be coming back after we do a little background to add some shading and highlights in the eyes. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pick a base color for our background. My base color here was uh, kind of like a yellow green color. And then I added more green to it. This one over here, it was lavender. And then I added a little yellow to it. So this time, I think I'll do a pink background. Pink and blue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this hot pink color and I'm gonna oh, put it back here. Except I do I wanted to have the white in my lines. So if I wanted to with the white lines, I've gotta go with the skinny brush instead and go like this. And go in between leaving that white space again. Like this. I'm gonna do this magenta purple thing. So this is really hard, but then you'll get that really cool effect with the white whiskers. It might seem very easy, 
easy, but it's really hard. It's the hardest part of the painting is whiskers. Okay, so I've got that side. And then I take my bigger brush, because I have a big area now, and just add pink, but kind of blot it on there like this. And it's okay if you paint on your tape, if you are using tape, because you're just gonna be ending up peeling the tape right off, so it won't show. So for the rest of my background, I'm just gonna go blotty like this. And then I make sure that I, ooh, add enough water to it. But I want it blotty so it looks like whatever's behind me is far away and out of focus. See, I'm doing this way. Add a lot of water. Yeah. Go yeah. big area, big brush. Yes. Switch those brushes, Lily. Still doing my whiskers. Oh, I thought that was your last. I thought you were already done. Okay. That's only on one side. Oh, I know, but I'm doing one side, then I'm going back to the other to give it a break. Okay. So. Do it either way. You can either do one side and then go to the other whiskers, or you can do all whiskers and then do the top and, and corners. I'd rather just get the hard parts done with and then do the really easy parts next. Okay. If you're doing my method, you can also blot some dark and light spots of your background color. So it doesn't have to be even because I want it to look like a blurry, faraway background. So, here's a little closer up view. So we've got the whiskers with little, spot between, with little white spots between them, or lines between them, and then we've got a blotchy, like, top corner. Now, I got a little drip, so I'm gonna blot that. And now, Okay, so now what I think I'll do is go over to the other side, the right side, and do those whiskers. Same background color. This corner first. Now I'll leave a little space for white. And then I'll do another one. Looking good. Okay, I've just got a few more whisker areas. Okay, now I've got only this corner left in between the ears. So, I hope you're doing fine and if you needed to pause, you've taken a little break to catch back up with this. So here I go and I'm just doing with my medium sized brush or the bigger of the two brushes. I'm doing this, I can also add some water to it, like that. I don't have to have it solid because like I said, it's trying to look like there's blurry background from far away. Okay, just blot, blot, blot. You, the one thing you wanna do though for sure is get um, all the way up to the ears. If you wanna have a little highlight like this, then you're gonna leave a little white space by the ears, and then when you erase the pencil marks, it'll look like it's a highlight on the edge of the ear. That's a little bit more advanced if you're one of my younger viewers. But if you're advanced, go ahead and leave a little white on the side of the ears. Oh, and also, if they wanna, um if they want to add another color to their background, like in this, yeah. what do they do? 
Um, they Do wait they just, just yeah, until it's just, dry? Yeah, they let it dry a little more. You guys let it dry. Let out. it dry a little more, and we are gonna go now, and we're gonna add some details to the to the rabbit. So and then we'll go back in and do our background. Yes. If you if you want to do another color. Now we're gonna darken the edges, but it's not gonna be like a harsh dark line. It's gonna be like a little wobbly blend. So if I have blue ears, I want to have blue or maybe purple as my dark color on the edges. So I'm gonna go over to my left side because my right side I decided I have white on the side. It's my highlight side. The opposite side is my shadow side. So I'm gonna give it some purple and I'm just gonna wiggle a little on the side. Then I'm gonna go to this side and I'm gonna, you, you can use any dark color to do this. This is your shadowy side. I'm even gonna go over my pencil mark because then I don't have to worry about if it gets erased well or something. I'm gonna try to do the same exact thing as this, so I'm gonna do the little pink. Okay, well we'll add that next. Just do the dark, do, go ahead and start doing the dark spot. Oh, so like the black. Yeah, it's like a dark brown actually, it's this color right here. Okay, so now this is where I put it. I put it on the left edge of my ear and then I'm gonna go down the side with a little bit of a squiggly dark line here. And then I'm going down to this cheek. So on the right, I have a few like little cheeky areas. Like that. So I've gotten on the left side of my ear, on the left side of my other ear, down the left side of my head, and a little bit towards the bottom part of the whiskers on the edge of the cheek. And that's where I've got some more of my dark color. I can also put a little here under the mouth. But just do little teeny dots, it's super thin. Oh, I'm getting a drip again because I'm holding my paper up. There we go. So I'm watching that my drips don't get out of control. I can also dry out my paintbrush, and when it's really dry, I can lift off one of these wet spots so it doesn't drip so bad. How's it going, Lily? It's looking good, looking good. Okay, so once you have a few of those dark spots, I'm gonna darken in under my chin a little more, and I'm gonna let it fade. I'm gonna get the medium brush, I'm gonna fade some of that purple down like this. So I'm creating a shadow under my mouth because his face sticks out farther than his body. And then I want it really dark where it first touches, so I might add a little more. Whoa! Dark red. Or dark purple. That one went a little out of control. Okay, so it looks a bit like this now. Now I think I need a little color to kind of pop things. Oh, you know, you can put a little bit on the other side if you want to, but oh, keep it keep it light. Wiping out my brush and just adding some water. Okay. Now I'm gonna get a really light color for my nose. The tip of my nose, right here can be like a super light pink or a super light peach or pink but if you don't have pinks and peaches because you just have like primary and secondary colors you can just take red and get it on a little side tray or something i usually just mix right next to it this red has a bunch of uh, red that's spilled so i just add water to some of that red and that's how i get a super light like really transparent red. So I might make my nose really transparent red right here. And all I'm doing is going right over the nostrils. Like this, see Lily? And I'm gonna blot that a little. I made one side bigger than the other, which is fine. So I've got these little bitty nostrils like that. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of a bright color to my uh, bunny's fur color. So here we've got peach, but we added a little bit of pink to it. This one's blue. Hmm, what color do I wanna add? I'm gonna add, ooh, gosh, what am I gonna add? I'm gonna add a little bit of lime green. 
So I'm taking some lime green and I'm gonna add just a few little like highlight colors, a few spots. Right in here. I just need a little extra color. So I'm going over here. I'm just adding a few blots of that color. I added a few of this color. And now I think uh, around my eyes, on the sides, I'm gonna add some of that greenish color. And on my ears, I'm gonna add a little of that green too. Let's put it right near the purple. And then I'm going to blend it in. So we're just adding a little extra, it's like a highlight of color instead of a highlight of white. So I've got a little of that. Maybe I need a little more on my shoulder. My shoulder doesn't have any action. Let's give it some color. Alrighty, so my, that's how my bunny's looking so far. Now you can always lighten the color by blotting it or taking your brush, rinsing it out, drying it out, and then slurping up some of that extra color. Now whatever color you had for your nose, which I used that really super watered down red, you can put a little bit at the bottom of the mouth area. Oh, I'll take some of that. So right in here, like, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to lighten it up and let it fade out by just adding a little bit of water. For the eyes, we are actually going to use the black marker. So don't even worry about the eyes yet because it's hard to get that kind of detail. <laughs> but I want you to shade your bunny a little more. If you don't have enough mixy colors in there, add a little more. And then I want you to add one color to your background. And I don't want it to be too different from your background. Let's see, I'm going to add, I'm gonna add this peach color. So now I'm adding peach to this background. Now I'm, I'm adding it with space between it. See how I've got a few like blot spots? Take a look, Lily. See how I'm doing this? I'm just adding some extra spots. Then if I have any space between any of my whiskers, I'm gonna add a few little blotchy spots to that. Now I go to the other side, do the same thing because it's kind of symmetrical, right? Make sure you go all the way to your tape edge. You don't you stop. You gotta do this with your big brush, yes. Yeah, don't stop before you get to the edge because it's like a photograph. When you take a picture, you know what goes past the edge of the photo, of the rectangle or the square. But you, but that picture, that photograph, all the, the imagery within it goes all the way to the edge. Okay, now make sure that you haven't been using your paint really dry because you want it to look blurry. You want it to have a little bit of that tight eye look. Okay, so then you get it about to here. Once you get it to here, we're gonna take a little break from painting and we're going to get our black marker. Hopefully you have a permanent marker sharpie but if you don't you can still try like a crayola one or something and then what we're going to do is we're going to do the eyes and the mouth so you about ready Lily to do your eyes and mouth yeah so make sure that you have some yellow going off somewhere on the side too it looks cool okay I can use a little more right here Okay, so I'm giving this a break. And now I'm going to take my marker because the area around my eyes should be pretty dry. Is the area around your eyes pretty dry? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so now you're gonna take your marker. And if you if it isn't dry, just either. Oh, that's my marker. Oh, you can it's either okay. blow dry it really quick or you can just put it on pause and when it's dry, come back and join us. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna outline the entire eye shape like this. 
and then I'm gonna go around my highlight and have a little line going through it, and then I'm gonna fill it all in. Like, like this, so that's one of the two eyes. And for your eyes, you don't even have to worry about erasing your pencil lines because you won't see them. Yeah, because you're going right over them. So go ahead and go right over this. So there are my two eyes. Now, if you want this to look more like a female bunny, like a girl bunny, and you want it to have more of an eyelash, that little like shape that was towards the top, Lily, you know that little shape right here? You can do this and you can point it and curl it like that and it'll look more like an eyelash. Cool! I'm having a blue girl bunny. Let's see, Lil. Okay, that looks great. Okay, next, touch around the mouth and see if it's dry. If it's dry, we're ready to get the black marker on it. So this is really skinny. What you're gonna do is, where that pencil mark is, you're gonna use the very tippy tip of your marker to get it really skinny and make this little line that almost touches the nostrils. If you wanna make the nostrils darker, go right ahead, but make them very thin. Then just below where that line is between the mouth and the nose, you're going to come out like this and you're gonna fill in the triangle shape below it. Black. And then where it goes to the side, to the little puffy cheeks, you're gonna go really skinny and thin in there like that. So take a look, Lil. You got it. Okay, here's a close-up. Now, when you wanna feel and see if there's any dry spots. My background is still wet, but my face is dry and my whisker area is dry. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna start erasing all the pencil lines. Yeah, plus you're gonna be able to see the whiskers now more. So all the pencil marks that you can get rid of, let's try to get rid of them. Then it won't have, it'll, it'll look softer, it won't have like a bold outline and be like as cartoony. Oh, I should have done half. Okay, I'm gonna do half with the pencil mark on so you can see the difference. Oops, I just smeared. Now, I just smeared my paint right there, but I can fix that. So while it's still damp, I'm rubbing it out like that. And then I can blot it too. So I got a streak that dripped and it made like a weird line and I just wash it away, okay? So now, this side I'm gonna get rid of all the pencil marks. Especially in these, at the bottom of those big cheeks. You wanna get rid of those. Wow, it's looking cool. Okay, don't rub so hard that you start scratching your paper. That's a little too hard, but you know, you can do it. The goal is just to get the pencil marks to disappear as much as possible.
Oh wow, I love how it looks when the pencil marks are gone. Don't you? It's a mind trick. Oh, you can blot it with your paper towel. No, I like the wet one. Okay. But now in here you can get those to go. Oh, I, I like it, it's really cool. I think it's done. Okay, so let's reveal it as we peel our tape off the edges. Oh yes, sure. So when you take this tape off, you want to do it nice and slow. Being careful. Okay, and one more side. Oh my gosh, I haven't done a blue-green bunny before. Well, it turns out really cool. Yeah. So. I went ahead with this blue-green color, and then uh, Lily's done the peach and pink bunny with the purple and yellow background. So we've got a couple of different uh, color schemes to choose from. I, I can't wait to see what colors you chose. So if you can, what should they do, Lily? To take so, um, so and see it. Post a photo on Instagram and tag us with our classes for kids, or email it, or email your photo to us kids.com and don't forget to like subscribe and click the notifications button the bell icon so you can know when all of our new art videos are coming yeah and keep making cool art, art.